Good morning all, welcome to my garage. So today is going to be kind of set up and do little things. Um, I'm going to mount the pump to a board because I don't want it flopping around on the driveway or in the yard. And I got this little guy I'm going to mount my box and GCFI to. I painted the two boards real quick just because I don't want them raw wood. Uh, the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this half inch to five eighths flare fitting. Ooh, yeah. I'm going to flare the one end of my piping. This obviously goes onto my pump. So that goes onto my pump. Like so, and then I'm going to actually push the water up the coil. So it's going to get drawn in from the tub here, out through the coil, back to the tub. Uh, I have to put a flare footing on the one end of the copper. We'll get to that in a second. And out of the tub is just one inch straight PVC so I have a one inch to half inch adapter that gets glued into there this gets screwed onto here and then we've got a union and then the shut off that's already in the tub that I'll show you in a second here so today's pretty much just gonna be getting all this stuff together figuring out a way to mount my pump and uh, wiring up the GCFI get that done I had just enough paint left over from my shelves the other day so that's what I threw on these boards I've got a uh, nice brand new flaring tool so we can flare that copper pipe that goes onto this sucker and yeah, that's about it. Away we go. While we're waiting for my PVC to glue to warm up, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pump, I'm going to mount it to said board so it's not just sitting on the ground. I'm going to take this little guy and put it on there. And I'm going to put a GCFI on the outside of this board so I can plug the pump in to this. And then I've got an old donor extension cord that I'm going to wire to this and run th that to the house to plug it in. So, technically going to have two breakers on it, which makes me feel a little better. And, uh, yeah. So this is just going to be a short one on doing that. I want to mount my... Box. To my board. And this is literally an old, uh, Trouble light that got crushed, <laughs> so it's no longer needed or used. Uh, because it was an old travel light. Still has its uh, mounting tabs on it, but I don't have one of those on my ground.
got some uh, electric cord spikes. Erp. I'm going to attach those to the board. Wire all this up real quick. still with a drill I highly recommend an impact impact all day long it works as a drill it also works as an impact if you've ever tried to run any kind of screws they work phenomenally the uh, I think they're actually better off for removing screws Putting them in is fine, you know, but the uh, trying to get an old stubborn screw out with a drill, no, sir. So, just a couple of these. Just to keep it uh, locked down at my outlet. A little bit crooked, but whatever. And then... Uh, that's going to sit like that. Now my pump, I obviously have to have facing the tub. And all of this is going to be going on the end of this pump. So I obviously have plenty of cord to get to my plug-in. Like so. And mainly just a matter of putting some screws into this guy and locking him down. Uh, I got better screws than that. Hold on one second. Kill, but what I'm looking for is a big enough head that it locks itself down and doesn't let the pump move around, obviously. Okie dokie. So pumps in. Let me check on my PVC glue. And, uh... Here, actually, I'll grab you down here. Give you a little look at this. Oh, yeah. And then let's check out our great stuffing. Yeah, that stuff just does not want to expand, man. That is kind of a bummer. I mean, it's filling up the spaces but not like it should. It did a pretty good job, but yeah. All right, I'm gonna leave this covered, try and keep it as warm as I can, and uh, I'll be right back.